Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this is part of the Mendeley Masterclass series of videos that I've recorded. Um, this next one is Mendeley Search. Within the Mendeley uh, desktop and web version you can search for things. You can search for things within your own uh, collection which I've covered previously for the desktop but with the web version you can actually go and search for other things uh, not not your own so you can search for papers you can well references you can search for people you can search for groups and you can also search for support uh, and with this I'm going to do a search for papers the best thing to do is to um, hit the actual search button on Mendeley as I've just done and that gives you a more advanced search so I can go in uh, and search different kind of parameters so I can do a search say let's do a search for uh, myself and we'll just do a search for web within the title I'll keep the document type to any kind I'll keep the publication year to any year but again you can refine that and then I can actually decide if I want to search within any certain disciplines again I'll keep this just open at the moment and then I can change my search results to 20 50 or 100 so I'm just going to quickly hit search and we found um, certainly two papers here that are my own which have um, uh, come up on top like so and what I can do is I can then save the reference to my own Mendeley collection I can also do a search for related research based on that and there's also an alternative metric that you can see that 19 people have got this particular paper within their collection so I can go through and click the various ones that I want to save so for example I'm not going to collect one of the the two there I'm just going to select this third one click save reference and it's adding it to the library impact of cancer clinical trials so now if I go to my library I will wait for it just to load up the documents and I can see at half past six this evening impact of cancer clinical trials was added now what you've got to remember is is that um, some of this data may be incorrect in Mendeley a lot of it is added by uh, Mendeley users a majority of it is uh, and there may be um, missing parts of the actual reference so this one appears to be fully fully there it's got the volume the part number and the uh, page numbers and the year uh, the title looks correct it looks like it's got all of the authors and the journal title looks fully correct but you have to sort of like make sure that these things are correct when you're adding them to your database so that is Mendeley search um, you can do things like refine the search to open access articles as well which will lead you to the actual articles and like I say it's best to do it via the advanced search which um, which isn't always so obvious to find but you can go in and do searches if you obviously find that you come out with thousands of references then you might need to kind of refine it down to uh, particular uh, academic disciplines you may need to change the actual year parameters that you choose but it's another useful way to find research to add to your own reference management collection.